My investigation has led me to Northeast Utah, to a place called Skinwalker Ranch, a mysterious property owned by a secretive multimillionaire believed to be running paranormal experiments focused on skinwalkers. What is this guy's problem? This guy is right on my tail. And he keeps flashing the high beams. What does this guy want? I mean, we're not going very fast. He could easily pass us. You want to just pull over? I don't know, man. I'm just going to slow down. All right, he's just staying right with us. This is weird. He's following us in here. Yep, he's coming right in with us. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to get out and talk to this guy. I'm going to leave it running. Can I help you? I'm trying to find out what you're doing out here. I saw you up on the hillside. I saw you by the, uh, the gate. Are Actually, you security or? I'm a field investigator. I've been researching the ranch and I didn't recognize you and the crew, which is why I had to pull over and okay. kind of find out who you are. Well, I'm actually an investigative journalist. They're looking into skinwalkers and got some leads to come up this way. I was actually looking for another way to get closer to the buildings. I mean, I, you know, I couldn't get on the property. I mean, no one's returning my calls. Yeah, well, you know what? I know all the people related to this property. I'd be happy to kind of share what I know. That would be great. Why don't you follow me up to this other spot? A little bit more secure than what we got going Perfect. On Sounds good. I've got a crew with me. Is that cool? Because we're, we're going to be filming everything. That's cool. OK, great. Sounds good. All right, so this guy says he's an investigator. This is bizarre. I don't know. Let's see what he has to say, right? No, I'll take what I can get. I know this is a little dicey, following some random guy who rolled up on us. But, you know, we're at a complete dead end out here. I've had stranger things come through before on stories, so. This is a little bit further away from the ranch, right, so we're a little not bit so more close. comfortable out yeah, here. Yeah. Ryan Skinner is a private investigator and author who spent the last 14 years researching Skinwalker Ranch, trying to uncover what's really going on behind the fences and security. So Ryan, my investigation started in Northern Arizona on the Navajo Reservation, and that led me here, but this is a dead end. I mean, I can't get access. I can't get anyone to return my calls. I mean, when someone's trying to shut you down, anybody down like that. It's because they've got something to hide. So bottom line, what is going on out there? Like, what is the big secret of Skinwalker Ranch? I'm convinced there is something very mysterious happening on this piece of property. In years prior, I was actually sneaking onto the ranch during the Bigelow era. Bigelow Wait, so owns it. Hold on. You've been on the ranch? I have been out there. So what have you seen out there? I've seen so many things. I don't even know where to begin with the stories. But one really fascinating encounter really sticks out, the dire wolf story. Uh, we came to the ranch one night. I was with another researcher. And we noticed in this black, uh, swirling, amorphous mist okay. that almost had a, a substance to it. And from that mist, a large bipedal wolf materialized and started walking directly towards us. No more the distance between yourself and myself. And what did you do? I was just uh, frozen and terrified. After about two minutes, it turned around, and in the blink of an eye, it was there and it was gone. So we're talking about something much more than a wolf. What do you think that was? If, if there is a skinwalker, that was it. I know what I saw. These things are real. And they're out there. They're out there right now. And what's fascinating me is that this isn't unique to this one location. There are these hot spots scattered all across the nation. And you have actual evidence of that. I've been collecting just volumes of research and documents from this exact topic. If you're interested, I'd be happy to share some of those files with you so that you can see for yourself. That would be great. Yeah. I'd love to see that. Thank you. If what Skinner said is true, and there are reports of Skinwalker sightings across the entire country, I'm dealing with an even bigger question than I ever imagined. 
Following the trail of the Skinwalkers has led me to a secretive location named Skinwalker Ranch in Utah. After casing the mysterious property, I met with private investigator and Skinwalker Ranch expert, Ryan Skinner, who gave me access to his files and revealed that Skinwalkers could be prowling in the shadows all across the country. Oh, whoa. He wasn't kidding. There is so much here. Look like a man, but has the qualities of a canine-like creature. Seven feet tall. Wolf or dog type beast with hands like a person living in the forests of Michigan. Skinwalkers of North Carolina? What the hell? Going through Ryan's files reveals skinwalker sightings all over the United States. But one surprising location has more reports than anywhere else in the country. The biggest concentration is Wisconsin, and it's sort of the same kind of creature over and over again. Man-wolf eating roadkill by the side of the road. A large wolf-like creature with human arms and hands. Here's another one, 2015, a werewolf, half man, half beast, running on two legs at incredible speed. All of these incidents are concentrated in this, this town called Elkhorn in southern Wisconsin on Bray Road. 